Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about how to add things to the town board, start improving things in your own settlement, managing an army, whether it's invasions or wars, and then also talking about all the things a governor can do and add in their own settlement. So there's a lot to really cover today. Thank you guys for tuning in, and let's get started. So you can see here, we actually do have Weaver Sven right now, Sentinels, and you can see that I'm the only one here. I'm the first one here, level 60, you know, we're able to continue on with controlling and settling here in Weavers. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is actually take a look and see that there is a war coming up. So I can actually manage my army and I can take myself in and out of there. So I can remove myself from army. I can put myself right back in. I can actually move myself around in these groups. And so if anyone else signs up in the standby list, I can move them around as well. And you can also just click the fill roster spot. If you guys, you know, have a bunch of people in this, you know, standby list. So that's just the army side of things. And, you know, there is a board to sign up. If you guys didn't know, there's a war board in every town and you should actually be able to find it and, you know, apply yourself and you can actually take a look here. If we zoom in, it's going to be the swords crossing. That is the war board. Then we have the town project board, which is going to be over here on the left. Every uh, town has this as well. If we take a look, we do have town upkeep. So with town upkeep, it comes along three town projects. But there's also slots for other things as well. So we can see at the top, upgrade four, upgrade town, and improve lifestyle. So there's three different things we can add. So if we jump right on into the actual territory planning board, we can see that there's many different things we can do. So there's upgrades. We can upgrade the fort. We can upgrade Hamlet, uh, sorry, Hamlet, or we can improve the lifestyle. So we can do all three of these. Let's start with the uh, upgrading of the fort. So we can pick actually what we want to do. So emplacement points, we can have unlocks an additional point to deploy an emplacement. This could be a ballista, burning oil, fat, etc. We also have the gates tier one to tier two. We have repeaters, burning oil, war horns, explosives, and ballista. So there's a lot of options. Let's just go with, uh, honestly, let's just go with, um, you know, honestly, I like the gates just for now, just for the heck of it. 500 gold to get started, and it shows you here. So we'll take it right from my personal wallet, and you can, you know, select company or personal. A lot of people won't be able to see this kind of stuff. You have to be a governor or, uh, you know, really in charge of a company that owns a settlement to see this kind of stuff. So it's great that I can actually show you guys this. Um, and so you can see that we have an active right now project active upgrading for 0%. We can go to upgrade Hamlet as well. Uh, we can actually see that there's a bunch of options here. So we have forge, outfitting, workshop, arcane, repository, kitchen, stone cutting, smelter, loom, tannery, and wood shop as well. So there's a lot of options. Like I said, I kind of want to get up. Um, you know, there's a lot of different options that we could get up. Uh, I guess really, if we just want to click one, uh, let's go with outfitting station for now. It's going to be 100 gold, personal wallet and confirm. So that's another one that is going to get started for us. We can actually now come out of there, come back, and we can see improved lifestyle as one as well. So this is a gathering buff. So we can increase logging quantity by 20% for three days. We have weaponsmith temperament as well. A lot of available buffs available in this, like I said, town project board. What you can also do is if we come back in here and let's say we want to upgrade the kitchen, you can start this town project and it'll actually replace the active project. So if you guys want to change it up, you definitely can. And right now, like I said, we're at a hamlet. We can get to that village, town, city, and then capital. So over time, your city will progress through these stages. I do want to go back though and improve lifestyle. We can just go with um, increased base HP. We could do combat buff. Uh, which would be kind of cool to do increase corrupted damage absorption by 20% for three days. Um, and there's just a bunch of them here. You know, miners quantity by 20% for three days. Harvesting quantity by 20% for three days. Skinning quantity by 20% for three days. Let's go with an activation of a 2,500 skinning buff. So project reward is going to be a hammer as well as a sickle. Minimum completion time, one day. So this would be, uh, you have to actually complete this in enough time we're going to do it anyway even if we aren't going to complete it in time just so you guys can see it on the town project board so if we actually take a look now come back out here um you know if we actually go right to the town project board you can see that everything is filled now so we have the upgrade outfitting station to tier three upgrade gates active hunter bounty we have the town upkeep as well so these are great ways to actually gain fast xp as well we've talked about uh, that in the fastest leveling methods in a new world but you know this is just kind of showing you guys what it's like to be a governor in new world there's a lot of options and i think you know it comes with a lot of different 
kind of cool, unique features that a lot of people may not see. You can actually come up here as well. So up here, we're going to have the last kind of thing to look at for a governor. It's going to be the governor's desk. And this is going to be where you can actually change taxes. So there's territory upkeep. The next payment for me is only going to be 100 gold, which is not too bad at all. We have taxes and fees in the bottom left. The governing company can adjust rates of taxes and fees. So we could easily change these. If we actually want to edit these, we could make this go all the way down to 5%. And yes, let's say we want to change that. It does um, you know, you should pay taxes or property taxes every seven days. They have the trading tax trades within this territory are subject to value tax. Let's lower all of these trading taxes and everything down for now. But I, I do think, you know, realistically, you're going to see a lot of people bumping these up and you're going to have to be very careful on, uh, you know, release day, because like I said, we are going to see a lot of things happening where you are going to see these uh, people trying to tax you out of the world. So definitely take a look and see what the taxes are. And I want to show you how to do that real quick. If we actually zoom in on Weaver Sven, we can actually click Weaver Sven's little, uh, I guess it's a little house or territory there. We can see on the right side what levels they are. So crafting tier twos, refining tier twos, and you can see the taxes over there as well. So there is a sign up status as well. If you want to see the siege window and sign up status, you can do so very easily by clicking that. But I do want to take a look at the governor's desk yet again, because there here is the payrolls. So on the right side, the governing company receives income from taxes and fees, the current period updated hourly, and you can see that right now we have zero gold as an input. Payment is not required at this time, so we have one day and 23 hours before we actually um, are able to even pay in general. But you can view this statement so you can see how many you know housing units, how many transactions, how many items crafted, as well as how many resources refined that are making me you know what kind of money. So it's very very cool how this all goes to play. And you can actually see the upgrades in the bottom left as well. And I think you know it's going to be a lot of fun for people to look through this as a governor. It's, it definitely makes you feel good about your territory, continuing to really upgrade it and make. I guess, you know, upgrade it and look after it, I should say. So that's just kind of, uh, you know, a basic understanding of what a governor has, you know, really available to them. Um, you know, the town project board, I'm make sure we covered it all. We had the town project board taxes, you know, the governor's desk. Uh, we talked about uh, really just all of the options available to you, like I said, with the war board as well, when there's different, uh, you know, things coming in like wars, you are able to actually set your defensive time, I believe, as well. Um so there's just, like I said, a lot to really look into when you are that governor. And I think it's going to continue to push a lot of people to want their own companies and make their own strides for these territories. It's a lot of fun being a governor. And like I said, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick understanding of how a, being a governor really works in New World MMO. I think it's a great time and I'll see you guys all in Eternum.